We know that there are some changes in the management of uh, patients with primary uh, prostate cancer in the, the recent years. Um, more patients are undergoing active surveillance for low-risk disease. However, for high-risk patients, these patients are undergoing more uh, uh, radical prostatectomies. Therefore, we have a higher risk of a higher rates of biochemical failures and salvage treatments. Uh, salvage radiotherapy to the prostate bed uh, is uh, the only uh, potential curative treatment for these patients. And uh, although the evidence is, is, is in favor of uh, salvage radiation, we, only, we know that based on the music data, that only one in every six patients uh, undergo early salvage radiotherapy. We know based on large retrospective series that if we give ra radiation, salvage radiotherapy at a lower PSA levels, this has been associated with better outcomes, not only uh, 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 biochemical control, but distant metastasis and prostate cancer specific survival. Recent and data from uh, Dr. Tilke in Germany show that this uh, early salvage with PSA less than 0 0.25 is associated with uh, a decreased risk of all cancer mortality. But even though uh, there is there is a trend towards uh, underutilization of salvage radiotherapy to the prostate bed. And I think most of this relates to the a new paradigm shift that is uh, uh, brought by the increasing use of PSMA PET scan in, in this setting. And definitely PSMA PET has changed, changed the treatment management for these patients in, in more than 50% of the cases. However, when we talk about biochemical failures that are very low or low PSA levels, uh, PSMA PET scan is not... Uh, uh, it has a, a low sensitivity. Uh, we know that based on FDG data, uh, old data uh, on FDG PET, that when cells are small, sub-centimeter cells, uh, uh, lesions, I'm sorry, they have less than 10 to uh, uh, the eight uh, uh, cells, and the, it's below the, 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 the sensitivity of the PET scan. This is regardless of the traceries. This is intrinsic of the PET detection technique. So either we have, when we have a negative PSMA PET, we have either no cancer cells or PSMA expressing cancer cells, because we need to take into consideration the expression levels, or we have micrometastatic disease. And this happens when you have a low PSA, therefore, a negative uh, PSMA pad, or when we see something on the PSMA pad, it can be only uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, tip of an iceberg. Uh, and we know, based on uh, interesting data coming from Australia, that a negative PSMA pad is predictive for radiotherapy response. So patients who have a negative PSMA pad uh, who had salvage radiotherapy in the prostate bed, they had much better uh, uh, clinical outcomes uh, compared to patients that were just observed. So even with a negative PSMA PET, for those patients who have indication of salvage radiation, should have salvage radiation. We shouldn't wait for a positive PET scan. And this is reflected in the EAU guideline uh, from last year, showing that a negative PET scan should not delay salvage radiotherapy if if indicated.